Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Izan. In this video, I will be comparing three vector apps for the iPad and this is the 2019 version. I did something similar, I think, in 2017. You can check that video out. A lot has changed now that Affinity Designer is out. This video, I will only be showing you the things that uh, work for me, also things that frustrate me, and also the things that I find very, very useful to me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with Vectinator Pro. Let's just start off by drawing a circle. Can it do cut and paste? We can only copy but not cut and this is pasting see for the life of me i don't know where the cut is let's compare this with graphic again draw a circle and let's cut to cut you just press this paper clip and you can cut go to the layers panel you can see layer one go and paste now let's go to affinity designer again i'm just gonna use the ellipse to draw a circle and you can access the cut and copy over here just cut you can take note of the layers and i'm just going to paste and you can see the layer here i'm going to change by adding some color maybe a gradient fill linear something like this and then i'm going to draw a rectangle I'm going to change the color maybe I have a outer glow or inner glow tap here and then set whatever it is that I want to set and you can see that there is a glow intensity the radius and all that this is uh, a style so I've changed something here this is the style so I want to copy the style and paste it over to this circle so all I need to do is just paste style and it will transfer over now let's see how does graphic handle that so this is the style that has been applied to this rectangle type style and copy style and then tap the circle and then style paste style how about vectornator there is no option to for copying style anywhere so i'm just going to copy and then i'm just going to click here and i'm going to paste mm there is nothing there's no um, copying style over next is on layers I have this circle here I can drag above I can drag below can I nest inside it apparently it cannot do it now let's check graphic what I want to do is I want I want to see whether I can nest it inside it's not possible as well now let's check affinity designer so let's go to the layers panel so what I can do is I'm gonna drag here tap the ellipse layer and I just release that so as you can see it's nested and what happened was this became a mask the rectangle is now a mask masking the whole thing so if you want to mask this is how you do it in affinity designer but for graphic if you want to mask it what you need to do is you have to go to the paper clip you get to select this circle and cut and then tap on the rectangle and paste inside as you can see it's now inside the rectangle and now you can see that this is actually a mask folder so let's check how can you do this in vectornator so i have this circle and i want to put this rectangle as the mask i have to select this both of this like that so these two are selected and then i go down to path and you can find mask like that and then there is this letter m 
while we're at this layers uh, a bit of um, annoyance to me about Vectinator regarding the layers so watch this all right I'm going to make a new layer here so this is layer 2 let's say you have a workflow and you require your rectangle this rectangle to be moved to layer 2 you can't do it once it's in the layer it's stuck there there is no way for you to cut anywhere but you can of course copy and then go to layer 2 and then paste and there you have it okay and then you can just go ahead and tap here and delete now we are here in graphic let's see whether there is any issue with graphic make a new layer notice that this object here is in layer 1 can I move it to layer 2 yes I can and quite easily too now let's go to affinity designer let's see if I have any issues with that so I'm just gonna tap and make a new layer a vector layer so I'm just going to tap here this is this is the rectangle layer can I move it into layer 1 yes I can now I have this rectangle and this already has a rounded corner so the good thing about Vectinator is that you can adjust the corner radius after you've made the rectangle provided you don't cut or manipulate the, the nodes it still remains this and the good thing about it is that you can resize like that notice that the curves here has been it looks funny now but you can adjust it back by tapping here see very nice this is what I like about Vectinator let's check graphic I'm gonna make this rounded rectangle you can actually adjust here and let's draw now I'm gonna select this and see if I can change it no I can't are there any other settings I need to do effects style no there is no other way I can adjust the curves once I have committed to drawing it on the canvas there is no way let's go to affinity designer this rectangle tool tap on it and then choose round like that great so now I have drawn it if I want to change it I just go back to rectangle tool and then there is this red dot over here I can just adjust it the good thing about this is that when I resize the corner still looks good I don't have to make any more adjustments let's see how Vectinator handles gradient I'm gonna draw a, a rectangle over here to select the gradient I have to click on the move tool and this will actually show the gradient handle I try to move the gradient handle but somehow sometimes I will be resizing it and this can be very very annoying this is in Vectinator how about graphic touch once to select and you can see the resizing handle but touch again inside and you can see that only the gradient handle is here so no issue here how about affinity designer I'm going to select this rectangle to, to change the gradient to manipulate the gradient handles I just need to tap in here the fill tool and then the, the gradient handles will appear but the resizing handles will not be there so there won't be an issue there is no stroke right now so let's apply a stroke set the width so that you can see we can apply the fill of the stroke right now it's solid so I'm going to change it to linear so as you can see we can change the color of the stroke can this be done in Vectinator so get this 
I'm going to change the stroke width so that we can see clearly. Can we change the fill? Let's try and change the color of the stroke. No, there is no way we can change the color of the stroke to gradient fill. Let's check graphic. Can we change the stroke to a gradient fill? Mm, no, there is no option for that. So to do this in Affinity, in Affinity Designer, you just have to go to here, transform, and then we have this shear option. Right now our anchor point is here at the top left corner. So as you can see, we can actually shear like that. Now let's check Vectornator. Tap here to select the object, and we're going to change the style see if there is any possibility you can rotate you can move but there is no shear how about graphic there is a dedicated tool here and we can shear like that you have to set the angle though something like this a peculiar thing about graphic is you use three finger tap undo i'm going to undo my shearing and then i'm going to redo four fingers you can change this two finger tap undo three finger redo graphic you can customize the gestures but for affinity designer there is no option to change the gesture and vectornator there is no option to change the gesture. Vectornator has this very interesting thing, show touches. You can actually show where you're touching. Point where I touch using the Apple Pencil, there is a white donut. And this is very very helpful if I'm doing a recording of the screen. And it works for anywhere on the screen. Very useful. But this feature is not available in Affinity Designer. Graphic also do not have this feature as well. Now let's get back to Vectornator. After I've typed text and then somehow I would require this text to be attached to this circle. So what I need to do now, I just select both of these and I have to go to Style, Path and there is a very neat option here, Place Text on Path and you can adjust very cool very very useful all right now let's check on graphic and let's see whether it can attach to the path this ruler here go to path and place text on path there it is but the strangest thing is that i am not able to adjust the position unlike vectornator you can there is a handle for you. You can only rotate the circle like that. There is no handle for me to move the text anywhere. Let's go to Affinity Designer. I'm going to attach this text to this circle. Can I do it? Is it possible? After you add a text on screen, there is no way for you to attach it afterwards. The only way you can attach text to this circle is by selecting the circle, tap on the artistic tool, the the text and then just tap like that you do have this markers over here the starting point and the ending point like that a good thing about Vectornator is that it has access to a lot of icons from icons 8 for example I want to search for rice bowl and you have all these you can easily manipulate so for graphic you can have all this shape library it's all inbuilt you are limited to all these for affinity designer it has some inbuilt images now again it is limited as you can see how powerful this can be when you have access to all of this from icons 8 Vectornator, there is an eraser tool 
set the size of the eraser tool and just erase like that so let's check the graphic there is an eraser tool and you can set the width and let's just erase affinity designer does not have any eraser tool for vectorator as you can see the grid is on and there's only one type of grid and you can set the spacing let's check graphic show the grid and I have the spacing left margin, margins offset, origin for affinity designer let's check the grid show the grid let's check you can have standard grid you have isometric grid which is very nice if you are into drawing isometric artwork but there is no perspective grid let's get back to Vectinator and let's see the export options now as you can see we have six here JPG, PNG, SVG, PDF, AI but you require Creative Cloud for graphic and these are the options that's all there is no export to EPS but there is SVG and PDF which is great and PSD there is no PSD on Vectornator though but there is PDF and SVG but no EPS let's check Affinity Designer we have uh, PNG, PSD, EPS, SVG for Vectornator we have a brush as you can see it's pressure sensitive only with the pencil if I set the stroke width to zero you can see that it is just a shape that you can apply stroke to you can adjust though on your own like that and these are the nodes now let's check graphic and let's try the brush as you can see we can set the width here and the smoothing it is pressure sensitive you can draw using your finger so after you've drawn you can actually manipulate the line and you can adjust the stroke as you can see here you can adjust how thick or how thin you want the starting or the ending line the ending points to be can we do this in Affinity Designer? I'm going to set the brush to this pressure sensitivity is there if I use my finger, no pressure sensitivity can I manipulate this afterwards? go to stroke option I can, as you can see I can change it alright, now that I have compared all three I will announce the winner right now and the winner is Despite the things in it that I find frustrating, I found myself always going back to Vectornator because it has this ability to get icons from Icons 8 and I think that is priceless. It also has this show touch feature which I will definitely use in future videos. Vectornator right now is the best vector art app on the iPad for anyone just starting out because it's free and it's very easy to get into you don't believe me you have got to watch my tutorials all right so that was a very long video i hope that was useful for you if you find this video useful give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button actually down there because you will get notifications um, whenever i put up new videos on my channel so until then have a great day i will see you in the next video